What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual, back with another banger today, guys, on the upcoming Jordan 3 Animal Instinct 2.0. Today guys, we have the upcoming Jordan 3 Animal Instinct 2.0, which was set to release this upcoming Saturday, but has since been pushed back to June 13th. The shoe itself, I can't even lie, man. Me personally, I like it. I love the shoe. It's the 2.0 version of the first version that released last year, which featured more of furs, if not all furs. Zebras, lion, leopard, whatever. It was a whole bunch of different furs that was used on that shoe but this 2.0 version now features all different sorts of leather and the shoe itself i would say in my opinion is phenomenal i can't i can't lie the material used on it is dope and it sets something aside from any type of jordan 3 we've seen in quite some time like i said this i mean material use you got alligator neck ostrich backbone snake nuts you even have the elephant print on the back still but it's like in a brown hue you have some overlays on the green on the upper, which is like seems like to be crocodile as well. And the tongue itself is like somewhat of a snake skin. Very similar to what we see on the toe box, the rattlesnake. Now, with that being said, this shoe is going to be ugly to a lot of people, and I already know that. But that's what makes us different. I like ugly stuff. You guys might not like ugly stuff. You guys like some stuff that I don't like. It's a lot of stuff. Look, I hated those pine green 2.0s. A lot of y'all loved them. Y'all can hate these, and I'm perfectly fine with that. So... Let me just say that to get that out the way. What I don't like about this shoe though is the price point. And I think the price point is what's gonna kill this shoe and make it do horrible. That's his honest opinion. But at the end of the day, that doesn't you know that doesn't set aside me not liking the shoe. I'd like the shoe, but I don't like the price. So for that reasoning, I can understand a lot of people not wanting to get their hands on these and these sitting in that, if, if anything, hitting outlets. The previous version didn't sell well as well. And for that reasoning, this is even more than that. The first one was 225, these are 250. So I can only imagine how bad these will probably end up doing. They come with two sets of extra laces. The box itself is this one that you see right here. However, some of you guys are gonna be getting the random or this, the, this plain black and gold boxes. Now I did this in my last video. Soul Play had got split up in this and in a regular box. I don't know what's going on over at Jordan Brand, but something weird is going on. I mean, maybe COVID itself, who knows? But there's gonna be different boxes depending on where you get your shoes from or like a Foot Locker is probably gonna get the same type of thing where the block the boxes are split up as far as sizing I talked about that as well I made a video about that the last video go check it out these are in men extended sizes so if you normally wear 4Y you're gonna be buying a 4 men's a 5Y a 5 men's you're basically be paying men prices as well so the 4Y cost the $250 there is no GS version of this shoe and I think that's about it it's a men extended sizes that way Little feet people out there, and no, you know, I'm a little footed. I'm eight and a half nine, so I can't even say nothing. But if you wear like a four Y, if you're in the U size, you can still get funky with these, but you're gonna be paying that $250 price point. But overall, man, the shoe itself, you got, like I stated before, crocodile Dundee nuts on the upper, ostrich necks, rattlesnake balls spewed open with a sack of cheese, elephant print on the back, which is still, you know, still elephant print, but turn, it's, it's a brown hue on it on the upper. It seems like crocodile or alligator uh, esophagus and the tongue itself is somewhat like of another type of snake snake print you know snake uh spleen sauce busted open on a sunday baked and griddled on a grill on sunday but then flipped over on a patty put the patty with the bun butterscotch tape on the top of it split it open put some avocado sauce in between eat it throw it up eat it again and have a good time with it but overall the shoe itself is pretty cool in my opinion it's a, it's a dope shoe dope concept just poor execution on the price. But I couldn't really expect nothing less. I mean, the hair 2.0s were also $250. This seems like it has a little bit more going on with that than the hair. The hair supposedly though was real fur. Someone commented that the hair was real fur from Italy. Correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong, they could be wrong, but that's what I heard. But that still didn't give me a reason to want to spend $250 on that shoe. For this one in particular, I am copying this shoe. This shoe is a cop for me, I'm keeping it. How long will it be? Will it be on Two Wallace Closet in a couple of months? I don't know, but I'm copying it for now. 
On the insole, you got like a satin silk, which reads Animal Instinct, Animal on one, Instinct on the other. They fit like any other Jordan 3. Um, I know that these are not, I, I tried this one on, so I made sure the sizing was the same because the 13s kind of scared me. The 13s ran a little bit different than previous 13s in my opinion. Um, but really besides that, the sole, you see it matches the same colors. The different laces and all that, I'm probably gonna keep these with the laces that come with, which feature a black wax lacing going on. Check it out. I'll give you guys a little quick, this 360 in hand. I even know I got the B-roll, but you can see, you know, everything going on on that. Now, one thing I wish I could have did was grab another pair to at least compare and see if the prints, like if these are all different. So let me look, let me just look myself. So like for instance, this, this thing, this cut is different than this one. But I wonder if that's the same for like, if I grab another eight and a half, will this be identical on the right shoe? I think all the cuts or all the little um, overlays are different, you know? Material wise, the leather that's on here, it's very, very hard. It mimics well the leathers that they're trying to mimic, especially the snake skin. The snake skin is, feels way better than previous snake skin like Jordan 11s that released over time, I can definitely tell they've done a little bit better of a job. Reminds me somewhat of the snakeskin that was used, if not even the same exact thing that was on those fours back in the day, the snakeskin fours. Um, we know this is not real crocodile, real ostrich, you know, but they did a pretty good job at mimicking all that. And guys, you tend to, some people tend to get mad when I say I don't know if it's real leather or not. If you actually type in Jordan 3 leather, every single website says that the leather on here is tumbled leather, 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 they call it leather. I don't know at the end of the day if some of these shoes are synthetic and some are real. It doesn't say, you can't just go and find it. And on the side of the tag, it don't say 100% polyester or 100% real leather, it's not like that. The only time I've ever seen a Jordan have actually state that it's synthetic leather was the Jordan 11 glitters, the ones that were like glittery, it said like synthetic leather on there. So like finding out the real materials that are on some of these shoes at times is uh, it's very, very tough, but I just read something. These are made in Vietnam. These are not made in China. These are made in Vietnam. That's that's different. These are made in Vietnam. Okay, so things are a little bit different here. These were made in Vietnam and not in China. I wonder if that has anything to do with what's going on with COVID and everything like that. These were made in November though, November to February 17th. So right in the midst when everything was starting to get a little crazy this is when these came out just curious to know maybe if they swapped factories for that reasoning or what vietnam has been making jordans for quite some time as well though and they do a pretty good job so i don't know that's that was just off the top of my head but last little touches on here the paint job for the most part is decent you can see some brush strokes here and there but not anything out of the ordinary from previous versions you know you got the midsole and that cream and uh yeah the box itself reads jordan 3 retro se black white gorge green neo blanc verte gorge neo uh men's eight and a half women's 10 250 on the price point here's the box there's the tag and like i stated some people will get this box some people will just get a regular box i don't know how that would work i don't know if nike's gonna get all these and then if Foot Locker's gonna get this all the other ones or they're gonna get all of them or they're gonna split them up I don't know, I just know that Soul Play got them very, very odd in this way. But with all that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I understand, guys, you guys do not like this shoe. A lot of y'all don't. But this isn't about reviewing the things that you like. It's about reviewing everything. I love y'all. Enjoy the on foot. And I'll see y'all on the next one. It's your boy, Tony D2Wild. Check it in, check it out. Peace.